Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. In this video, I will show you how you can easily downgrade your A10 and A10X devices to any version they ever ran with the Dismura Linux. This will be an untethered method, meaning if you reboot your device, you will not require a computer to boot it, but it requires saved SHSH blobs. The method shown in this video is completely free. You can see I have this iPhone 7 which is currently running iOS 15.8.4. Now, to get your saved SHSH blobs, you will require the ECID. You can get the ECID using 3U tools. You can get it from here. You can simply right click, it will be copied. Then you can paste it somewhere in a notepad so that you can use it later using Linux. As a second option, you can also get the ECID using iTunes. You can simply connect your device via USB and then keep tapping or left clicking the model number or the serial number here under the phone number and you will see the ECID from here. You can right click and then copy it and then paste it in a notepad to use later. Now guys, let's get to Linux to complete the downgrade process. All right guys, so after getting the ECID for this device, like this iPhone 7, we are back on Linux. I am using Xubuntu 22.0.4. You will get the Turdus Marula for Linux from the link in the description or in the pinned comment. Now, when you have got Turdus Marula for Linux, you will need the IPSW for the version you want to downgrade to and the SHSH blob. Using the ECID, you can simply copy. Then go to the tsssaver.onekunan.com. It is completely free. And here in retrieve, select hex from here and simply paste the ECID here. Submit and then open link. You will see all the saved SHSH blobs here. Please note, blobs are saved when these versions were signed. You cannot do so right now. If you see a 404 error means you did not save any blobs for your device. For example, I want to downgrade to iOS 10.3.1. I will simply select it, no app nonce, and I will see the blobs right here. Now I will get one of these blobs to my computer. I will simply get them from here. All right. Next, let's get the IPSW. You can get the IPSW from IPSW.me. You can simply select your device from here. So I'm using iPhone 7 GSM. I will select it. You can see under device information, you can see the board config and my device, iPhone 9,3. If you are still unsure, you can hit identify my device and type here the model number from the back of your device or from the about section and then hit identify my device. Now from the IPSW section, scroll down and get the IPSW for the version you want to downgrade to with the SH SH blobs, which is available to you. Select it and simply get the IPSW to your computer. I have IPSW now and the SH SH blob. Now right click Turdus Marula and then extract here. You will get this folder. Now before we begin, first of all, let's install the dependencies to make this work. Open a new terminal anywhere and then simply paste these commands into the terminal. You will get these commands from the link in the description or in the pinned command also in the written guide. Paste, press enter, type in your Linux password and wait for the process to finish. All right, once complete, you can close out of this terminal. Now open the Turdus Merula folder you just extracted. Open a new terminal here. Type here sudo space chmod plus x, drag and drop file in, press enter, type in your password, and press enter. Do the same for the second file, sudo chmod plus x, drag the second file in, press enter. Once again, open a new terminal. Simply plug in your device via USB. The command is sudo space systemctl space stop space USB max d, press enter. Type in your Linux password, press enter again. The second command is sudo space USB max d space hyphen p space hyphen f press enter, you'll see that your device is detected. You will have to leave it minimized. Do not close it. Also, if you see a trust dialog on your device, please hit trust. Now go back, open the blob using mouse pad. All right, now control F, all right, and find generator. You can see it right here, gen, and you will find this string. Simply copy this string, right click, copy or control C. Now close out of it, open 
the turdus merula folder again right click and open a new terminal now type here sudo space dot slash rain underscore lib usb hyphen e d and lowercase b give it a space and simply paste the generator you just got from the sh sh blob press enter type in your linux password now at this point get your device into dfu mode now my device is in pawn dfu mode now at this point we'll run the second file using sudo space dot slash i device restore hyphen w hyphen hyphen load hyphen sh sh give it a space go back now simply drag the sh sh blob into the terminal along with that drag the ipsw for the version you want to downgrade to and then press enter simply type here one press enter now let me make it a bit bigger so that you can see it now here type yes in capital please note that this restore or downgrade will erase all data so if you have data on your device please make a backup first before you type yes and press enter now wait for the downgrade process to finish at this stage if your device hangs or panics you will have to repeat the process and it will work all right as you can see the restore process the downgrade is complete now simply set your device up as usual all right as you can see i have set my device as usual it is properly activated and it is back to ios 10. let's first of all see the version settings general about and you can see it is now on ios 10.3.1 yes your touch id and passcode works without any issues you can see it right here you can set up your touch id you can set a passcode without issues yes you can install your apps using side loadly and verify them without problem and then you can install your appropriate app according to your version to easily jailbreak your device and it works without problem now since it is untethered yes you can always restart your device like so and of course always turn it back on without a computer that's all for this video guys if you still have questions please ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye take care of yourself